All right, folks, I wanted to show you how I made this uh, railing for my car hauler here. Uh, what this stuff is, and I was going to video this while I made it, but I broke my arm. Um, and I just really didn't feel like doing all the video and stuff uh, while I was in pain with a broken arm. So this is what you get. So uh, these are two by fours, three quarter inch treated plywood that are cut in half, ripped in half. So they're each eight foot by two foot now. So I needed one sheet of plywood here and here because those are both the one sheet of plywood cut in half. Same thing over there. So that's two sheets of plywood. I needed uh, a sheet of plywood between the front piece and the back piece. That's three pieces of plywood. And then I needed uh, part of a sheet uh, for here. So I needed four sheets of plywood at a, I don't know, 70, 80 bucks piece. It was a, it's a little expensive, but um, it's treated plywood, three quarter inch, uh, should hold up and last me for a good long time. So what I did was, uh, again, I cut these pieces of plywood in half and then I took, took some screws and put those through um, the plywood into a treated two by four. And then uh, on the outside, what I did down here, the bottom is I took and I put a lag bolt in. Now the reason for that lag bolt is that it doesn't hold anything. It just keeps this from being able to, when you hit a bump, for these things to be able to lift out. So you can't take these out unless you get rid of this uh, lag bolt. And so you can see there's lag bolts here. Everywhere I put in one of these, uh, these 2x4s, I put in a lag bolt. And then my seams didn't really line up uh, with these posts. So, again, I just put some screws uh, through the back of this um, and, and held these on to where they, they don't flop around and they're, they're together. Now, over here, what I did was, um, since there's, there's no brackets to put 2x4s into, you can see that, that whole piece right there, there's no brackets. Now, there's these... These two by fours here that hold it on to these pieces, which do have brackets, which is good. But um, what I did was I put, I drilled holes. So what I did was I drilled holes on the other side and and then I put, um, I put those screws through the plywood, through the metal of the fender, and into a 2x4 block that sits on the inside of the wheel well. And there's another one over here on the inside of this wheel well. And then the same thing goes for the other side. On the back, um, I cut this piece of plywood here, uh, eight foot's a little long, so I took about a foot or so off of that to where it, it was a little bit longer than the width of my, uh, my side panels here, so that way I could, I could put screws down the side and then put a 2x4 in here and be able to put screws through the plywood into the 2x4 this way and this way and then at the bottom I just took my some scrap uh, plywood that I had laid it down there marked it cut it and then again these these things screw into the plywood or to the uh, the studs here and that way it keeps anything uh, that might come loose bouncing down here from bouncing out on the trailer and, and making it a road hazard and then plus I lose whatever it was that was bouncing loose like keys to the lawnmower or something like that, right? So, uh, and then the same thing over here on this side. You can see where I left this a little long here. And obviously I hit the road uh, once or twice. And, uh, but that's okay. I could, I could trim that up a little bit or just leave it like that. And it will eventually find the length that it wants to be, I reckon. And, uh, So I wanted to show you these over here. I put washers 
I put washers on these bolts or on these screws uh, to give them some added support. Um, so on the side where I put the screws through the through the fender, and then uh, and then again in the blocks that are on the inside here. It's two by four blocks. And I just drove this from from uh, Memphis to uh, Coleman, Alabama, and uh, held together. Nothing's loose, and uh, it's all still rock solid. So if you need to build you a side on a trailer, again, uh, I don't know, four four times eight. That's uh, what 32, 320. Figure the the uh, the studs in there and the screws and stuff, $350, $400, and you're going to have uh, side rails uh, for your flatbed car hauler that are going to last you a long time. Same thing here on the front. Um, this piece of plywood here is longer uh, than my side is there. And the only thing really holding that in is, is these screws here. Um, I thought about drilling holes. In my uh, in my metal railing there, and putting it in there, but I, I really don't need to. Uh, that's enough to hold it, and I just made these a little bit longer. Uh, you'll notice, okay, well, it's longer than the trailer. Isn't that a bad thing? Well, no, because I got this fender back here sticking out. This is still skinnier than the widest part of my trailer, so uh, I wasn't worried about going a little bit long. And uh, that way, if I needed to, I could always I could always attach another two by four or something here and make it longer taller if I needed to so it gives me some flexibility anyway that's my side skirt that's my story and I'm sticking to it